Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to take you through a, a tutorial on how NTFS, which is a data recovery tool. So we are going to work uh, through this tutorial using command line in Kali Linux. So I'm not going to cover the installation part. I'm just going to cover uh, the, the data recovery process and the prerequisites for data recovery. So for those of you who do not know what NT, uh, Scrounge NTFS is, Scrounge NTFS is a data recovery tool that is used to recover data from uh, drives that, are, that have been corrupted or drives that have uh, bad partitions. So uh, let's just get into it and see how it goes. So we're going to open our terminal here. So the drive that we're going to use is the one listed here, the Tigerix uh, 8 gig uh, drive. It's in NTFS format. As you can see, we've got several folders here that have different documents, different files saved. So we are going to try and recover some of this data um, using Scrounge NTFS in the terminal. So our I've created a destination folder in documents and have named it scrounge dump. So as you can see, this is an empty folder here. So So as you can see, uh, Scrounge uh, needs you to know uh, some information about the drive before we can get into data recovery. So it's quite easy if you know uh, certain data about the drive. So we're going to need uh, the master file table offset information uh, which is in sectors and we also need information regarding the cluster size of the drive and we also need to know the, uh, the directory to, that we're going to put our data into and we also need to know the source file of our data the device that will be uh, that will be recovering data from and then we also need to know the first sector of the partition that we're gathering data from in the end sector. So all this information will be substituted in this line of code here. So I'm going to search for the file information so that we know the data that we're going to be using for this process. So we're going to search this data. So as you can see, our device is listed. Um, the information that we want is listed here. The subsector is 32. The end sector is 1572. 83H4, the cluster size is 8, and the F MFT offset is 6291456. So, as I mentioned earlier, before we get into the recovery process, we have to set our directory where the data is going to be stored. So, I'm going to change my directory to documents. And then to scrounge the folder that I created earlier. So after creating the, after changing my directory now, 
I can start the data recovery process. So we want to put our MST offset, which is 629. Our MST offset is listed here. And then the next is our cluster. Our cluster size is eight. And then we want to specify the device source. So this is where we are going to get our data from. And then our cluster, our start sector, which is 32. And then our end sector is 157, 2, 8, 3, 4. So, our, so we just double check, scrounge our MST offset 629, 1456, and our cluster size is 8. The device that we are getting data from, that we are recovering data from, then our start sector is 32, then our end sector is 157 to 8384. Now we can begin the process. Okay. So the process is completed. Our data recovery process is completed as you can see. So We've got a couple of files that have been recovered from our drive. Uh, it includes the system volume information for the drive, uh, several folders containing files. So we're just going to check to see if our destination folder contains the information that was recovered. So as you can see, Data has been successfully recovered. Everything has been successfully recovered. So, so this is how storage NTFX works. And this ends our tutorial. Thank you for watching.